Hola, here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what does the road to reconciliation look like for us? Once again, the question is, what does the road to reconciliation look like? We will do an extended read on this where we'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, how will they treat you after the reconciliation? And we will also ask, how will this connection evolve? So what will happen? So keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up, because you two be tripping, tripping, man. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your job ass on the way from it. I want to say thank you to everybody who submitted a donation yesterday. You guys went wild. Thank you so much. Like the gratitude that I have for the amount that you all were donating yesterday is just insane. I appreciate it so, so very much. There is one of you who's donated who also supported and uh, requested a reading. And I need you to email me because I don't have your email address. So if you could email me so we could go ahead and get that scheduled, that would be great. Initials are DB. Thank you so, 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 so much, guys. So if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information for that is in the description box down below. If you would like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just didn't give myself that title or stamp those initials on the back of my name, you can find all of that information down below. If you would like to donate to the channel in any type of way, all of the links for that are down below, including my Amazon wish list. And if you would like to do anything else, I'm sure it's down below. Unless you want to do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around, and you could just do that where you are. You ain't got to look down below for that. Unless you need, I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be happiness. It says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Choice number two is going to be peace. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. And choice number three is going to be trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So we have happiness, we have peace, and we have trust. On the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be happiness? Is it going to be peace? Or is it going to be trust? All right. Well, let's go on and begin. Let's get this party started. All right. So once again, thank you so much to everybody who has donated to the channel, donated to my surgery, donated to my wholeness. Um, I just totally appreciate it. Yesterday, y'all went wild. Um, I had, I was looking at it like, whoa, like, thank you so much. There is someone with the initials DB who scheduled a reading with me via cash app and I don't have your email. So if you could email me, that would be great. Looking at the people who chose happiness. If you guys want to donate links are down below. Amazon wish list is down below and you can book a private reading with me looking down below. So universe. What does the road to reconciliation look like for the people who chose happiness? What does the road to reconciliation look like for the people who chose happiness? Take another deep breath, guys. What does the road to reconciliation look like for the people who chose happiness? Death card. Okay. What does the road to reconciliation look like for the people who chose happiness universe we have the nine of pentacles we have two of pentacles and what is this what's this what's this eight of cups mm, what's at the bottom oh lord hierophant bottom of the deck all right 
So for the people who chose happiness, the road to reconciliation is through transformation. I feel as though the road to reconciliation looks like this. You all, somebody decides to walk away from the other person because initially there is no stability here. The foundation of this connection in truth, when you remove your rose colored glasses, is shaky, it's faulty, right? And so there's a sense of moving away from one another in an effort to not further hurt one another, to focus on yourself. And it's a very slow progression. It's it's the to build your confidence, to rebuild yourself. And I don't know why I said rebuild, but to rebuild your self-esteem, um, to really get right with yourself and to deal with your star player, to release a lot of the dogma, rhetoric, conditioning that you have grown up with there's a deep transformative energy that will surround you both and that will bring about if you allow it if you allow it because free will is a bitch right if you allow it it will bring about a sense of freedom liberation um airiness it, 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 this transformation is about obtaining your wings. You, you all will be bridging the gap between the physical and the spiritual realms. So this is definitely a yin and yang type of connection here. I feel as though when you guys are good, you're really good. You have the highest highs. And like I always say, the lowest lows, you can bring each other. You can rise to heaven together or you can pull each other down to hell. And the transformation could be way of interference of sorts, things outside of this connection. There's something about this connection that never allowed you all to quite take off. The energy around this connection and the possibilities around this connection were always so elevated. The heights to which you all could rise, the possibility of those heights of just not being so grounded, of just there being no limits to what you all could co-create together, it, it, it defies words. And I feel as though one of you all was... I feel like both of you all, I, one of you all was stuck more in the spiritual realm. One of you all, you thrived in the spiritual, but you were able to, you were able to navigate the physical, whereas the other one rejected the spiritual and was anchored in the physical. And there was, again, interference. I, I'm not sure if, this is a situation where this you all knew how perfect you were for one another, but you created scenarios that told yourselves that you weren't perfect for one another. It's like you talked yourselves out of being with each other. You talked yourselves out of your perfection. You literally talked yourselves into falling from grace. Because you all are um, a perfect, perfect, quote unquote, right? Perfect means to be imperfect, right? But you all were a perfect match. You met eye to eye, soul to soul, body to body. And I think that there may have been a chance for you all to be together in the past. And... It just seems like every time you all get together, there's some type of interference here. There's a lot of thought that goes with this. Typically when I do readings and I, I start receiving the message, I'm talking really fast and just going, going, going. But if you hear, I'm taking a lot of pauses and it's like, I'm not thinking about what I need to say. It's just like, I don't, it's like when, when it's, when it's real, then you know how I feel. No, when it's real, it's just understood. You know, it's like 
this defies words, it defies meanings. It's not really understood by many outside of you all, right? Um, but you all know what it is. You all know. And, and yeah, I feel like there are opportunities for you all to get together in the past. So this may be somebody that you've known for quite some time. This may be somebody who um, either both of you, I, I just feel like when one is, somewhere the other one is someplace else it's like you guys are never on the same page at the same time when one is very successful the other one is still rebuilding wealth when one is um when one is stabilized the other one is drowning when one you know it's like you guys are never on the same page and i feel like this may have been somebody who chose somebody else in the past and it felt like they chose somebody else over you but it's like there's something about the perfection of this connection that really scares the both of you all there's so much fear with the possibility of this because there's a sense of this is so transformative and this is so elevating in and of itself we we could really hurt each other if we don't rise to the occasion of love and so the road to reconciliation looks like you're given an opportunity to come back around and to see each other for who you really are and that doesn't mean that you're going to see each other in this perfect light i really think what's going to happen is or what is happening is you see each other's ugliness because the rose colored glasses have to come off and there's a realistic objective there that they, they, you have to look at each other from new eyes but from true sight you have to see each other for who you truly are you know because the love grows the love is there but there's something about you all individually and the work that you need to do on yourself to liberate yourself to set you all's uh to set you all's hearts free the bodies flow with one another. So this relationship may have been one where the sex was always really good and very intense, but I feel like all of you all's meetings, energy merging together is very intense, so much so that it repels one another, right? So yeah, the road to reconciliation is by way of transformation, so a lot of breaking down to build back up relationships and lives breaking down breaking apart foundations being destroyed in order to be rebuilt on solid ground um so i feel as though you all would have separated well you're rec reconciling so of course but there would have been a separation with you all and it could have been by way of interference something outside of you you all's situation that was pulling at somebody's energy and then i feel as though they're go you all go into separation you have to rebuild your confidence it's a slow progression you're rebuilding wealth you're rebuilding um your health for some reason i want to say and um then you you look you begin to think about when you get to a place where you feel like you can breathe again, you begin to think about if this is something you really want. What do you really want? And I think that you set out on a journey of love to figure out what you really want. And either you or your person may do that by way of being single and exploring the opportunities before you, but breaking a lot of hearts because ultimately there is no one like you for them and there's no one like them for you and so this is one of those situations that takes you all around the world just to come back to one another just to realize that what you've been looking for you had but it's a sense of moving outside of the idea that anyone else can complete you it's about remembering the happiness that is your birthright, being okay with who and what you truly are and releasing expectations and surrendering the conditioning, the rigidness, the stubbornness, 
the forcefulness and just allowing this to be. So there's a great amount of surrender with this as well. But this is a this is totally about moving away from each other and almost thinking that this is the last time. Like there's no chance for reconciliation here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Weighing up options. Think about it is you all are options to one another. You're just afraid of one another intrinsically on a spiritual level. And it could be a lot of past life karmic debris that is getting in the way that you don't understand. Like, why do I keep pushing this person away or why do they keep pushing me away? And I feel like it has something to do with the past life. But still you rise. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do an extended read on this. Keep in mind, extended reads can go willy nilly. I can't promise nothing but that I'm going to pull a bunch of cards. So you want to take a risk on that? You can follow me over there. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask how will they treat you after the reconciliation. And we will also ask how will this connection evolve? So if you'd like to join me over in the extended again, the link is down below. If you want to donate to the channel, you can find the links for that down below. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can find the link for that down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. On Instagram, I'm The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. And on TikTok, I have almost daily readings. Uh, and the name is The Red Pill Pusher. If you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know my ass is lost too, you show sure ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. Moving on to peace, universe. Peace, peace that passeth understanding. Okay, what does the road to reconciliation look like for them, universe? Why do I want to sing cry no more, no more? Shoo do 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 in a in a uh 1990s into 2000. If you didn't have a shoo do 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 do. Thank you everyone to who donated to the channel, to me, especially yesterday. You guys went wild. I appreciate it. I am looking for somebody with the initials DB who donated and also scheduled a reading with me. I need you to email me, babe. I need you to email me. All right, universe. What does the road to reconciliation look like for the people who chose peace? What does it look like? Oh, the tower. What does the road to reconciliation look like, universe? Ha! Huh. Six of pentacles. Eight of wands. What does the road to reconciliation look like, universe? People who chose peace. Whoa, ten of swords. Wow. Huh. Bottom of the deck, wheel of fortune. Mm. so the road to reconciliation for you all looks like this you all come from two different worlds there there is this is something that took off really fast and ended just as suddenly and I think that this connection was very shocking. And I think that everything that has happened in this connection has been very shocking. And I feel as though it's shaken you up and it's made you extremely uneasy. This connection may have even made way for extreme anxiety. Um, it could have even made way for depression. I feel as though, um, again, th this is something that moved very quickly. You all had a lot in common. You felt like you recognize the other, you talked a lot, you laughed a lot, you joked a lot. And it seemed like it was moving up. It seemed like this connection was evolving. It seemed like it was headed in the right direction. And just as quickly as it started, it quickly stopped. And I feel as though the road to reconciliation is by way of observing this ending and looking at things and their true value and being the alchemist in your own life. Because I feel as though when this stopped, 
it was devastating. It was, it felt like the end of the world. It felt like you couldn't breathe. You, it felt like you didn't want to move. It's like, all you were thinking about was how, how didn't I see this coming? How did this catch me off guard? Why am I so shocked by this? And replaying scenarios in your head and your mind and just trying to figure things out. But in retrospect, you can see things a lot clearly. And I feel as though reconciliation comes by way of you reviewing red flags and really being accountable for your part in this situation and how wanting to be vulnerable, wanting to be honest with yourself and not just chopping this up to something so divine and, oh, we're twin flames and we're meant to be together and I can't live without them and I don't want anybody else but them. And, oh, it's just them, 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 them. Um, so I feel like there was a, a, a air of codependence here. I feel as though there was, um, this was a connection. And this is all that you're realizing now is that where you thought that you had something so perfect because you were not, you were caught up in a rapture of love. You were caught up in it, right? You, you couldn't see clearly. You were deep, 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 way down in the jungle deep, right? And so I think by, by you being removed from this situation, you're able to see things a lot more clearly and to see that your person is not perfect and to see that there was a very codependent element in this situation where you may have um, just been all about this person, not hanging out with your friends, not wanting to do anything but to spend every waking moment with this person and not really having a life of your own. And not, not feeling understood by anybody else because you all come from different worlds. You're a very good balance for each other. And this person just got you and understood you, but there were things that needed to be worked on that weren't being worked on because you all um, were very consumed with one another. And so I think reconciliation comes by way of reviewing this and seeing red flags and seeing the codependency and seeing uh, the, the, uh, consumption and seeing, you know, uh, how this was painted to be so perfect, but it wasn't, and that was okay. And bringing yourself into peace without this person guiding you or leading you or you being, or them being an energetic vampire to one another, um, to provide each other with false peace. So it's, it's by way of coming into a real sense of peace by dealing with yourself and being very honest, you know, it, it's like you all may have, or maybe just one of you all may have not spoken up, not, you know, cause I don't think these red flags were completely ignored. I think that they were identified and seen but just not brought into the light. I think it was just like putting somebody's back pocket, like, oh, well, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's, you know, instead of talking about things. And so I think that there was, to an extent, a very superficial element to this, but there was no deep dive into this. Because you guys were just going up. It was just like, oh, we're so perfect for each other. We're twin flames. We're lovers. We're this, we're that. We're going to get married. We're going to have the perfect life. Perfect, 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 perfect. And mm, no. And so it's the road to reconciliation is being very open and very honest and being at peace with that, with the honesty. That it that the imperfections were the perfection. In some ways, some of y'all might want to go back, and I don't do this a lot, but some of y'all might want to go back and watch read number one, because I said that same thing in read number one, I believe. So yeah, so it's, it's grounding this. It's by way of grounding this through grounding yourselves. And I think that neither of you were truly grounded in this connection. And so there was a sense of not being safe in this connection, a sense of free falling and not knowing where you would land. Mm -hmm. 
and not needing the shock value. There's a shock value. It, it, this happened so quick and stopped so quick. And, you know, we got along so quick and we did things so quick and we got to know each other so quick and quick, 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 quick. Everything was very fast paced. And it's like, okay, come on back down. Now let's be real about this thing. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's reconciliation happens by way of inner peace individually and truly seeing your person for who and what they truly are and acknowledging the pain that they may have caused you or that you may have caused them the betrayal. Um, and also not bridging the gap between the heart and the mind as well, cutting yourself off from your mind and just being in this la la land of your heart. Not speaking up and just looking at all of that. So, yeah. So, so we're going to do an extended read on this. I can't promise anything in the extended, but then I'm going to pull some cards. So if you want to join me over there, we're going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We're going to ask how will they treat you after the reconciliation? And we'll also ask how will this connection evolve? If you want to get a personal reading with me, that information is down below. If you want to donate to the channel, you can find the links down below for that. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called the Brave Heart Experience. On Instagram, I'm the Red Pill Pusher with two H's and a push. And on TikTok, where I do almost daily readings, it's the Red Pill Pusher. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know my crazy ass is lost too, your show ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe. So, people who chose read number three, trust. What does the road to reconciliation look like for them? People who chose reading number three, trust. What does the road to reconciliation look like? Thank you guys again to everyone who donated to the channel, especially yesterday. You guys were so open and so giving. It was so wild. Um, there was a person with the initials DB who donated and also scheduled a reading. I need you to email me because I don't have your email. You pay by cash app and I don't have your email. So we need to get this scheduled, please. And thank you. And thank you all for donating your energy because that matters. So universe, trust. What does the road to reconciliation look like for them? First card. Ooh, change. Come through. What does the road to reconciliation look like? Joy, pump it up, pump it up. Six of water. Damn right, we're going to reconcile. And daughter of air. Bottom of the deck. Ace of water. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, now my throat chakra is all blocked and clogged. Hold on one second, y'all. Funny, I just looked up at my thermostat and it said 66 degrees. Six is the number thought to be impregnated with love in numerology. That's odd. So the road to reconciliation for those of you who chose trust is by way of individual joy, change, evolution. It's by way of your own individual evolution. Um, there's a deep surrender that will occur. And I feel as though um, there will, for one of you all, and I feel like it's the divine feminine, quite honestly, whichever one of you is mostly um, is considered the divine feminine. It's by way of bringing yourself back into balance. I feel as though this connection, um, was very, was all consuming. And I feel as though that grounded you all in some darkness. I think that, um, there, there will be a realization that there were a lot of secrets, that there was not a lot of growth, that this thing just seemed like it couldn't get off the ground. 
Um, there was a sense of holding yourself back from happiness that is no longer happening. There's a sense of just being at peace with yourself, always worried about the other person, always wondering about the other person. There may have been a sense of keeping an eye on one another and not really looking at things from a higher perspective. And so the road to reconciliation is through by way. Some of y'all might've been baptized. Some of y'all might've been baptized at church or something, or maybe you guys have gone to a river or to an ocean or there, there's some cleansing effect that's happening with you all. So I feel like there will be a lot of change. I feel like um, there will be a lot of change to that comes to your um, home environment. I feel as though there may be a change to your appearance. I feel as though there will be a change in your spirit. And all of these things will begin to feel quite light. Whereas you may have been carrying a lot of burdens and a lot of heaviness prior to um, this separation or whatever has kept you all apart. I feel as though things will come into the light. A lot will be brought into the light and a lot will burn. I hear sizzle. A lot will um, sizzle away, burn away. A lot of karmic debris has been, you guys have closed the cycle here. And so there's just a sense of washing away your burdens, washing away your quote unquote sins and allowing yourself to move back into the light. And so you may have been quite happy and peaceful and joyous once upon a time. And there's a sense of you reclaiming your happiness and being very clear and seeing things from a, a very high level and seeing things very clear. I just feel like sight and clarity and spending time in nature and, and colors change and vividness is everything. Life just becomes vivid again and glowy and beautiful and luminous and radiant again. I feel like you just feel like you are blossoming for the first time. Like you are truly coming into life and there's a surrender happening here. There's just a surrender there. There's, um, a turn away um, from this person. Um, I think you think about them. I think that you can feel them, but I think that you are more focused on yourself, truly, wholly, madly, deeply, honestly. Um, you are just totally focused on yourself and you trust and you allow what will be will be thy will be done it, there's no manipulation or manifestation to pull this person in or to um you have to have this in order to survive you are not looking to have anything but yourself you're looking at your own wholeness at your own value at your own worth you're getting your happy back you're feeling alive again you're getting you're getting a sexy back you um, are feeling better, feeling just alive. There's just something about being alive here, flowing with life, flowing into the light, coming out of the darkness, you know, um, and just allowing yourself to heal and be whole and be in balance with yourself. This is probably the easiest of them all. And so it's it's really, you know, moving on but not moving on with someone else or pacifying the feelings. It's feeling your way through this pain, feeling your way through this darkness, feeling, you know, remembering or walking by remembered radiance, right? Moving, shifting through the darkness, not knowing how initially how you could make it without this person into not even, you know, thinking about this person or what should have been or could have been or just allowing, but, more so focused on yourself, focused on, you know, just you and getting your happy back and, and, and balancing yourself and, you know, a lot. Some of you all are anemic. Some of you all get really, really cold or when when it's warm or sunny or maybe that's just the vibe of you've been in such a dark place for so long that now you the sun feels weird to you but you're coming out of the cold into the warmth and you're seeing things very clear and you're very clear on what you want and you're very clear on what you will not no longer allow to but there's a 
There's a growth happening here, a maturity. Mm -hmm. And so there's a, there's a whole focus on you, totally. That's the road to reconciliation. I don't know if y'all gonna choose this person. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do an extended read. I can't promise anything about extended except the fact that I'm gonna pull a lot of cards. If you wanna take a risk with that, follow me over to the extended. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll also ask how will they treat you after this reconciliation and we will ask how will this connection evolve? So again, if you want to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, the name is the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. And on TikTok, where I do almost daily readings, the name is the Red Pill Pusher. You don't want to follow me nowhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too. You sure ain't got it. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.